Hey there, if you're watching this video, chances are you're thinking about deleting your Upwork account. Maybe you're moving on to other opportunities, or maybe you're just looking for a change. Whatever the reason, I'm here to guide you through the process of deleting your Upwork account permanently. But before we dive in, you need to know that deleting your account is a serious decision. Once you've deleted your account, all your profile information, work history, and projects will be permanently removed from the platform. So before you hit that delete button, make sure you've saved any important information or data you might need in the future. Now before you actually delete your account, there are a few things you should consider archiving. One of the most important things to archive is your portfolio. If you've built up a portfolio of work on Upwork, make sure to save it to your computer or another online platform before deleting your account. You never know when you might need it in the future. Another thing you want to archive is any testimonials or feedback you've received from clients. These can be incredibly valuable when you're building your reputation as a freelancer. It's a shame to lose them all if you decide to delete your Upwork account. You can take screenshots of your testimonials and feedback or copy them into a document and save them on your computer. Or you can share them on your LinkedIn or Twitter account. It's also worth archiving any ongoing projects you might have on Upwork. If you're currently working on a project for a client, make sure to wrap things up before deleting your account. You don't want to leave a client hanging, and you also don't want to risk damaging your reputation as a freelancer. Finally, if you want to stay in contact with some of your previous clients, you can message them your contact info and notify them you'll no longer use Upwork. Don't forget about your earnings. If you want to leave Upwork for good but still have some money on your balance, make sure to withdraw it. You don't want to lose your hard-earned money. Now that you archived everything that you deemed important, it's time to delete your account. First, log into your Upwork account and go to the Settings page. You can find the Settings page by clicking on your profile picture in the top right corner of the screen, and then clicking on Settings from the drop-down menu. Once you're on the Settings page, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Close Account under the Account section. On the next page, you'll be asked to select a reason for closing your account. You can choose from a list of reasons, or you can write your own reason in the text box provided. This is optional, but providing feedback can help Upwork improve its platform for future users. After selecting a reason, you'll need to click the checkbox to confirm that you understand that deleting your account is permanent and cannot be undone. Once you've confirmed this, click on the Close Account button to complete the process. That's it! Your account will now be deleted permanently from the platform. You will receive a confirmation email once the process is complete. If you have any additional questions regarding deleting your account, stay tuned. In the next minute or two, I'll try to answer some of the most common questions. Can I deactivate my Upwork account and create a new one? Creating a new Upwork account after deactivating an existing one is against Upwork's terms of service. Upwork's policies explicitly state that creating multiple accounts is not allowed, and doing so may result in account suspension or termination. Does Upwork delete inactive accounts? Yes, Upwork may delete inactive accounts after a certain time period. According to Upwork's policies, if your account is inactive for 24 months, 2 years, Upwork may delete it without notice. Is there a fee to leave Upwork? No. There's no fee to leave Upwork. Upwork doesn't charge any fees for closing or deleting an account. However, if you have any funds in your account, you may need to pay a withdrawal fee depending on the payment method you choose to transfer the funds. However, if by leave Upwork, you think about moving your client off of Upwork before the two years since your first contract expired, you will have to pay a so-called conversion fee. The conversion fee is 13.5% of estimated earnings over a 12-month period in each specific client-freelancer relationship. What if I change my mind? If you change your mind after deleting your Upwork account, unfortunately, there's no way to reactivate the account or recover any of the data associated with it. I think you could try your luck and contact Upwork's customer support, ask them to retrieve your account, and who knows, maybe they'll do it. In conclusion, deleting your Upwork account is a straightforward process but it's essential to take some precautions before doing so. Make sure that you archive all of your important stuff, such as portfolio, client info, and client reviews. And of course, don't forget to withdraw your money. 
That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Is there anything you'd like me to cover in some of my next videos? Be sure to write it in the comments.